Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening for another very special edition of Diary of a Double. And this is Antonio Aguelas' 67 kilometer um, attempt at a two-way crossing of the English Channel. So from England to France and France to England. Welcome back, Antonio. Hi, Steven. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, buenas noches. We are here again finishing week 13. Yes. And uh, we survived week 13. You know, 13 is not is many for many people. It's an unlucky, an unlucky uh, uh, number, but uh, we survived well. Um, yeah. And uh, did you swim on uh, Friday the 13th? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. I had an easy swim yesterday. Yesterday. Um, okay. What about today? Uh, now, today, it was one of Rafa's day. <laughs> you, you know what happens, Stephen, is that when you look at your workout, you think you're going to be able to handle it. Um, and and, uh, and sometimes you don't grasp uh -huh. the intensity. So today I had to warm up and then we did three 1500s. Uh -huh. And the first one, I had to go on R4 for 300 meters and then R2 for 200 meters. So it's high, inten high intensity, relax, high intensity, relax, high intensity, relax. Yeah. So um, that, that was hard. Okay. For, then, our, uh, for our listeners who don't understand uh, the different uh, levels, can you put it in, in terms of your pace? Yes. Per, per my, hundred? Yeah, my, my pace, let's say my, my middle pace, where we want to get our R3, it's one, 140 um, every hundred. Okay. So this one, I needed to go between 136 and 137. And then my recovery had to be at 148. Okay. And the tricky part is that I can't go over, I can't go over 148. I mean, I have to be able to recover at 148. It's not like 155 for two minutes. Um, and then you have to start again, you know, those 300s. So, so how, that, do you, how do you pick up the pace and how do you decrease the pray, pace in the, do you, do you kick more? Do you, do you move your arms faster? No, I, you know, my, my, my arm stroke is pretty even. Uh -huh. I pull harder. Okay. I, I put more pressure on my, on my, um, on my arms. Okay. And also I, I kick more. Okay. I, and, um, and, and the recovery, I, I lowered the pressure in my arms, okay. the, the way I handled the water, and I kick a little bit less. Got it. Got so it. I did three of those. So it was the first 1500. And then I thought the second 1500 was at 140. And I said, well, 140, you know, I'm, I'm, if I'm handling it, I, it's going to be, no, 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 that that was hard. I mean, and, uh, and you know, I don't know when, when you were a swimmer or when you were coaching, but Rafa is in, at every 100. He's watching. I, I, yeah, watching, and he tells me whether I, I'm this, I'm, you know, I'm not doing it well. This is right, and this I'm up, you know, okay. I'm faster. Yeah. So it's uh, it's it's kind of painful because he's he's telling me all the time, you know, how I'm going, and and uh, and you know, you know, the the pool has one of those old clocks that goes uh -huh. around, yeah. you know, the Kiefer McNeil, the, right. the old. Yeah. So he, he's 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 in front. Oh, so you can't oh. see. I can't see the clock. I can't see the clock. So he's in front of the clock and he does it on purpose. So I don't know. And, it, you know, I just see signals and I have to, I have to realize how bad or how, how fast or how slow I am just uh -huh. by his signals. So that was, that was hard. And yeah. then the last one, I thought this is going to be downhill because I have to go a 50 in 47, 48 and come back in 54. No, no. <laughs> it was dead, dead. And the thing is, since I am, I'm going next week to the, to the ocean, um, we didn't do, we, we, we ended up doing about 5,500 meters. Okay. Um, but you said you have to do weights in the morning. So I started with my uh, weights and then I, I did this and I'm going to have a big nap and sleep a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired. It's, it's uh, it was a tough, it was a tough workout. I, I thought it was going to be easier, but not. The, the intensity, the intensity kills you. So yeah. Uh, yeah, well, intensity and then just the constant thinking of pace, pace faster, pace slower. The coach is there, you know, he's giving you hand signals. That's a lot to think about. Yes, yes. But we survived week 13. Yeah. But, but two things happened. 
plus my swimming. You know, last time you and I talked about Ikigai. Yes. So you were you you posted a great post on on uh, on Wosa, yeah. and I watched the videos. And one thing I didn't know is that you had swam in in Okinawa. How was that? I mean, you, you talk about sharks. I mean, did, are there many sharks there? Lots of sharks. Lots of visible sharks. We I saw sharks. Probably in in those swims, I saw sharks um, much of the time. So I mean, we're talking. Uh, I I was always able to see a shark within um, I don't know four out of eight hours. I mean, a lot. And uh, you know, even though the sharks were very deep in the water, and they were far away from me, I could see them. In Okinawa, it's like it's like Hawaii. It's like the Philippines, you know, the water is very, very clear. So you could see very, very deep into the water, like, like Cancun, you okay. know, like the Caribbean, you can see very deep. So even though you know the shark is way down there, it's still a shark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still a shark. <laughs> yeah. So, and Tell me one thing, what were you doing in Okinawa? Were you living there? Yeah, I was living in Japan at the time. And uh, I just, every year I wanted to do a new swim in Japan when I was living there. So uh, I started out in the, in the north with Suguru. And then I just, you know, then I had the one in the middle of the country around Mount Fuji and then down in Okinawa. So I wanted to go from, you know, colder to, to middle range to very warm water. How and, warm is there? Well, I, I actually did, um, I, you can't really swim in the summer. It's, it's much too hot. Um, it's like um, the hottest place in Mexico. So we're talking water temperature about 30, wow. um, you know, air, but it's really the sun. The sun is really, really tough. So I did most of the swims in, in um, uh, fall. So September, October, um, and uh, then, then the water is cooler. But the problem is that time of the year is a typhoon season in, in Japan. So they have big, big uh, hurricanes and typhoons. So sometimes I, I had many swims canceled because, you know, I was supposed to go and then the typhoon comes. Or uh, there was also a case where I got to the island <laughs> and the typhoon came and my crew couldn't come. Oh, no. And of course, no boats can go out when there's a, a typhoon. So. And, and your crew was the Japanese crew? Pardon me? Yeah, all, all, well, my father was one, and then everybody else was Japanese. Wow. So, um, it, was, it was very good. And I, I got to meet very many, um, you know, each island in Okinawa has, a, a, you know, like their, their superstar uh, shark diver, you know, the shark fisherman. So, you know, one of the, one of the swims um, in the island closest to Taiwan um, I had a man with a, with a spear in his hand the whole, I think it was a little over seven hours. The whole time he stood with a spear in his, his hand. Wow. Because down there, there are so many sharks, you know, they, they get either caught in the fishing nets, you know, the local fishing nets, and, you know, they, they, they eat them. So, you know, it's part of the fish. They're, they're not overfishing them. It's just part of the, the ecosystem uh, down there. Well, but that, 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 that got me thinking about Sugaru again. Yeah. It was, for me, it was such a beautiful swim. Um, you know, for, 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 for our, our viewers, I know it, it, we're talking about the English Channel, but Sugaru is uh, it's a magical place. Um, yeah. Tapi. Yeah. Um, it's uh, only fishermen, nothing, yeah. nothing, no, nothing Western. I mean, it's no, just like, nothing. It's just going away from all the Western things. I mean, you won't be able to watch CNN or, no. or, or nothing. No, nothing. No street tacos, no uh, donuts, no, no supermarkets, no, no anything. It's all oh. food from the sea. Food from the sea. And I still remember, um, you know, I don't know if I, if I told you this, but we were, in, it was Nora, Pablo, my, my, my nephew, my friend Guillermo and, and myself. And what's really interesting is that we each like the service everyday things. And yeah. we started recognizing the different the different things. Because you know, usually when you live in L when you live in California or you live in Mexico, you go to your typical Japanese and you know it's the same. But here were things that we didn't know. Yeah. And it was really funny because in, in the, for for example for breakfast, we would start 
sharing the things. I don't like this. Give me yeah, yours. Yeah. You don't like so. So we, you know, we we're just like you know, go the food going around because you know we, we found what we liked. Yeah. Um, and we only ate we only ate uh, Japanese food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. And, um, well, Stephen Redmond, the first man who who did the Ocean Seven, uh, he didn't like uh, seafood. He doesn't like seafood. So all he lived on was white bread and butter. That's all. I don't know how he did did it for not for one day, not for two days, for one, two, three weeks. He was in Japan, only white bread and butter. But, but you know how I became very good friend of uh, Rohan Moore uh -huh. because Rohan arrived with his mother and one of and his friend, and they had their their own food. Oh. They, brought, they brought they brought the from from uh, from uh, from from, Jap from uh, India. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and Guillermo speaks Japanese perfectly. He was the attache in uh, in uh, the Mexican embassy for okay. 25 years, so he speaks perfectly. And okay. uh, so he started translating, you know, what they had and what how they had to cook it. And so that's how we, Rohan and I became friends. And then we went to the supermarket together. Oh. <laughs> uh, remember, there's one supermarket about between the big city and yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you can buy water and stuff like that. And it was really interesting going there. I couldn't understand anything of what, what they had there, but, but it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, so you did your work. So you did the three 1500s. Um, did you do anything else? It was, it was, that was just a warm up, and then the three 1500s? And then the warm down. I warmed down. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Ne next week, I'm flying, to, I'm flying tomorrow to La Jolla. Okay. And uh, I will be swimming Monday, Tuesday. And then on, on uh, Wednesday, we will do... Uh, two swims, one from five in the clock, five o'clock in the morning till eight, uh -huh. and then another swim five o'clock in the afternoon till eight o'clock in the afternoon. Oh wow! Okay, big. Th that's going to be your biggest biggest day yet, right? Yeah, okay. and um, and uh, the challenge, Stephen, is it's not the three hours. I mean, three hours is just normal. The the cold the water is about sixteen point five, sixteen point yeah. eight. Yeah. Check the the buoy. Yeah. And that's going to be a challenge. You know, yeah. it's going to be my first cold swim since February. Yeah. So um, um, I will I will see how that goes. Fortunately, I have Dan Simonelli. Dan is going to be with me okay. kayaking. And, uh, and then on Thursday morning, I'm going to do another swim there, just maybe an hour, hour and 15 okay. minutes. And then I'm going to L.A. And uh, being in L.A. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and flying back on, on, on Sunday. Okay. Uh, do you plan to uh, work out in in Los Angeles area? Um, well, I'm I'm staying at a place. You know, it's really interesting about pools. Yeah. I have this. I'm staying at this hotel that has. I asked them. I always ask if they have a pool. Yeah. And they said yes. I have a twenty three point something uh feet. And so I said, you know, well, how is that? So I converted into into yards, and it's twenty six yards. Oh, so really? Swimming oh. on a, if I swim there, I can be swimming on a 26 yard pool. Okay, so um, almost 25 meters. Almost, almost 25 meters, yes. Yeah. Uh, but 20, that's, a, that's a not number, 26, 26 yeah. yards. Yeah. Um, I, um, I, I'll let you know, you know, I'll see where, where I am geographically. And okay. if, if we can go to, to your, your, your pond. Yeah, because uh, there is a beach called Manhattan Beach in. Okay in Los Angeles, uh, near the air, near LAX airport. And that's very famous, a very convenient beach because they have two piers. Okay. And it's, it's almost two miles from pier to pier. And many, many famous um, English channel swimmers train there. Um, Penny huh? Dean, who set the English channel record in seven hours and 40 minutes. Um, wow. John York, who did many Many Catalina swims in English Channel. Um, Cindy Cleveland. Many famous people have trained in between there, um, and it's very convenient um, and uh, nice, wide, white sand beach. So, um, you know, if you can get down there, I can go. Uh, I can all help help you. Okay, I have I have to I have to to overcome. Yeah. Um, a, a, a previous conversation with Lucia to see if uh, she's going to let me go, uh, you know, there. I have to find out how far from the hotel, but I'll let you know. And maybe we can tell next Saturday, we could tell people that we went swimming together in Manhattan. 
But the other thing that happened, Stephen, is something happened in my in my in my um, in my sleep, and something has been happening in my life. Remember, we found half of the the map. The map, yes. We didn't have the rest of the map. No, we didn't have the rest of the map. So I can't remember if it was Sunday or Monday. I had a dream, and this is how it looked. You know, we were in the boat, and uh, we had this crazy waves, which are always complicated. And it was just like, you know, the notice was that, you know, we're, we're passing some of the gates that we will have to pass before we arrive in the back and forth swim. Antonio, and then, if you couldn't, you haven't shared your screen yet. You have to share uh, it. Sorry. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. There we go. So this is the map that we had. Then this is how my dream looked. <laughs> just, just imagine. And then my friend, Don Julian, came to the pool. Got it. So we're, we were talking about it that we, leaked, we need to look for the other half. So we have we had something to do. Ah. So that, I think that happened Wednesday or Thursday, Tuesday or Wednesday. Excuse and, me, and, and Tony, I have to interrupt here. I'm looking at your left tricep. That's a very good tricep. <laughs> Thank you, swimmer so tricep. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and can you look at you know closer to my to my to my shoulder? Yeah, yeah. It's a katsu mark. <laughs> exactly, it's a katsu mark. Yeah. It, you know what happens is this is this is I go to uh, to uh, Cuernavaca. Uh -huh. So I, on the road, I put my katsu my katsu on the road. Yeah. And, uh, I, I, I have katsu session. Yeah. I, I, I take three sessions. Yeah, is good. That... Yeah, very good. Very yeah. good. So, yeah, so... Sorry, I, I couldn't help but notice your tricep. So, yeah, thank you. You know, the weights are, are working. The, work, the, the weights are working. Yeah. So, so, Julian, who is my, my friend, who was a pirate, now is my parrot. We're looking for something is going to happen. And then on yesterday, look what happened. Something appeared at the pool, and there it is, my old friend. He tells me, do you know, remember me? Te acuerdas de mí, do you remember me? And here is our, our companion for the rest of the trip. Great. His name is the pirate Antonio, the pirate yeah. Antonio. Okay, so that's how I look when I was a little kid, Stephen. Got it. Yeah, so he's going to be with us. And look what he brought us, the rest of the map. Oh, great. So great. we are ready. We have our parrot, Don Julian, who's a very famous pirate. Yes. My old, my, my, myself, when I was a, a small pirate, so that's, that's comforting. I, I was very good at, uh, in the ocean, so that I, I feel confident that we'll be able to yeah. achieve the double crossing. Yeah. And, uh, and they're going to go with me to La Jolla, and okay. uh, we'll, be, we'll be sharing news uh, from now on. They're going to be with us, and, and they're going to help us uh, overcome the gates of the North Channel. Yeah, English, so. English Channel. <laughs> English Channel back and forth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Well, welcome to uh, California next week, very, very yeah. shortly. And uh, hope to see you here. Okay, Steven. Have Thank a great you. weekend. Adios. Thanks.